Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today, we will continue with Chapter 7, Gravitation. In this video, we will discuss on a new subtopic, Gravitation Field Strength. So, what is the meaning of Gravitational Field Strength? Gravitational Field Strength is defined as the Gravitational Force per Unit Mass. Okay, so here, Gravitational Field Strength, we can label it as AG. AG is equal to gravitational force per unit mass okay so if you substitute the gravitational force g m m over r square m and n we can cancel so therefore equations for gravitational field strength hg is equal to g m over r square okay so gravitational field strength is a vector quantity similar like force meaning that we need to consider the directions and magnitude and the SI unit we can use newton per kg because it's force per mass or we can use meter per second squared okay it can also known as a gravitational acceleration and the directions is in the same directions of the gravitational force okay so next we will go to the questions okay Okay, exercise 2, questions number 1. Determine the magnitude of the gravitational field strength at point 5,000 km above the Earth. Okay, so here, let's say this is the Earth. We want to find above the Earth. Uh, this is 5,000 kilo. Say we convert into meter. So we want to find the gravitational field strength. Uh, at the 5,000 km above the Earth. So what should we do is, usually our equation AG is equal to GM over R. So remember, R here is actually from the center of the Earth. Okay? The equation for gravitational acceleration is equal to AG equal to GM over R. So this R actually must refer from the center of the earth huh? from the center of the earth meaning that we need to consider from the center okay so you must take the radius plus the altitude or the height from the earth surface so we substitute inside 6.67 times 10 to the power of negative 11 okay mass here we are referring to the earth huh? so mass of the earth is 6 times 10 to the power of 24 and the radius is from the center of the earth okay so meaning that is equals to r plus h huh? r is the radius of the earth so it's 6.4 times 10 to the power of 6 plus the altitude altitude is the h huh? from the earth surface so it's 5000 kilo so i will convert it into 5 times 10 to the power of 6 okay and remember there is a square okay remember there is a square Okay, so if you press calculator, we will get 3.08 meter per second squared. Okay, so this is the gravitational acceleration, 5,000 km above the Earth. Okay, next, B, find the gravitational field strength on the Earth's surface. Okay, so AG is equal to GM over R squared. Okay, so G is 6.67 times 10 to the power of negative 11. M is 6 times 10 to the power of 24. It's the mass of the Earth. And the radius of the Earth. Huh? Okay, because we only want to find uh, what is the gravitational field strength at surface. Huh? Okay, so we just take the radius of the Earth enough. So radius of the Earth is this one. 6.4 times 10 to the power of 6 squared. Okay, so you'll find out that actually the value is equal to 9.77 meter per second squared. Okay, so actually this value is roughly similar like our, uh, the constant value 9.81. Uh. Okay, next we will go to questions number 2. Okay, questions number 2 give you the mass of the radius and the radius of the earth are 84 
are 81 and 4 times respectively than a moon. Okay, so these are the information given to us. The mass of the Earth compared with mass of the moon is 81 and the radius of the Earth compared with radius of the moon is equal to 4 times greater. So what is the gravitational field strength on the surface of the moon? Okay, so if let's say in the earth, okay, let's say in the earth, our gravitational field strength A is equal to G M over over R. Okay, where R here R square, okay, R here is the radius of the of the earth. Okay, so if let's say at moon, our A at moon is equal to G M moon over R R moon square okay so if you compare equation one okay equation one and equation two you compare okay uh, a at uh, earth equals to over a for moon okay equals to g m at the earth over r earth square okay so this is for earth for moon also, okay, for moon and the radius also for moon. Okay, so since um, the value of G is uh, equal, so we can cancel out G and G. And then we rearrange back, okay, our equation. Mass of the earth, okay, over mass of the moon. And then radius of the moon. Okay, this one shift upward over radius of the earth square okay so mass of the earth over mass of the moon is equal to 81 okay so from here okay so it's uh, moon over earth so it's 1 over 4 okay it's 1 over 4 square uh, because earth to moon is 4 so moon to earth is 1 over 4 okay 81 over 16 uh. So AE over A moon is equal to 5.06 But we want to find the gravitational field strength on uh, the surface of the moon Okay, So here AE over A moon is equal to 5.06 So A moon is equal to AE A at the earth huh? So A for the earth actually is 9.81 over 5.06 so therefore, we will get 1.9 meter per second squared. Okay, so this is the accelerations of the uh, moon. Okay, next, question number 3. Okay, so that's all for this uh, subtopic. We will go to the next video with the uh, new subtopic, which is the gravitational potential energy. Okay, thank you. See you in the next video. Bye.